All right, before we head out of here, let's see if we can go uncover what's really happening behind the scenes here with Dima and Acadia, the people who are in charge. See if there's anything sinister going on before we really throw in our hat with these folks. I think they're the good guys. I know the children of Adam are the bad guys. I know that. But are these the bad guys also? You know, is this going to be a lesser of two evils type thing? Or is there um, an actual line between, you know, right and wrong here? Hey, Dima. Did you need something? Kasumi says she's seen parts of your memories. Death projections. Our Far Harbor and the center of the island. That's unfortunate. She should be focusing on herself. Her new life. She shouldn't have to bear the burden of the outside world. Please. This is a matter best left to me and my advisors. We aren't planning to destroy the island. Those projections were merely to help us realize the cost of inaction. If this thing involves the whole island, then you need help. I can be your problem solver if you let me in. I suppose there's something to be said about refusing help, even when it's offered and you're in need. There's a conflict that's been brewing on this island, shortly after we built Acadia. Between Far Harbor and the Children of Atom. Simply put, they want to kill each other. And each side wants us to help them. We've tried to stay neutral. But Far Harbor was going to be wiped out by the fog. So that's when we built the condensers for them. And I was friends with the previous leader of the Children of Atom, Confessor Martin. I even gave them their headquarters, the submarine base they named the Nucleus. Which was a mistake. Because Martin is gone and the new confessor, Tectus, is completely insane. He's been threatening us to force us to choose a side. I left behind something very important in that submarine base I gave them. Dima's earliest memories are stored in the military computer banks in that base. The pre-war security systems and Confessor Martin's goodwill were supposed to keep them safe. But now Tectus is in charge, and he's after Dima's memories. We don't even know what's in them. But we do know that I spent nearly a century on this island alone. Whatever's in there is too dangerous to allow Tectus to get his hands on them. I see. So what can I do to help? If you're willing to retrieve what I've lost and bring my memories back to me, then we'd all be one step closer to solving this conflict without bloodshed. You'll have to get through the Children of Adam's base. You're new on the island, so you might be able to pose as a recruit. Then, once you get to the memory banks, you'll have to use a special program Dima and I have been working on to break through the security systems. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'll get your memories, Dima. If we're lucky, the pre-war defenses have kept the Children of Atom at bay. But that means you'll have to get past them yourself. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the Children of Atom directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. They already do, idiot. Look, taking away their guns. All right, so you want to take these memories or whatever out of their hands and think that somehow that's going to make them less fanatical or make it harder for them to kill everybody. They're already at open war with everybody. They want to see everybody on the island that's not a child of Adam destroyed. Either you're part of them or you're dead. They, they enjoy, they take glee in watching men, women, and children ripped apart by these monsters coming out of the fog or radiation making people sick to where they die in misery. They like that. They enjoy that. That is their, their Turns profile. Turns out Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're going to find. So is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the children of Adam will. Or is he still hiding something? 
What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. So, say I get the memories. What then? If it's something that would really threaten the island, then it's better out of the hands of the children of Adam. Or Far Harbor, even. And if Dima really can't be trusted, we'll have his own memories to confront him with. I'll get Dima's memories, and then we'll figure out things from there. Good luck. All right, well, I don't see any problem with the people in Far Harbor in the hole having um, anything that would help them wipe the children of Adam off the map. These abominations are at open war with innocent people, murdering people, or at least enjoying the murdering people, whether they're actively producing the fog, which, if they have this nuclear submarine base, something tells me they're either creating the fog or fueling it. They're definitely condoning it, and everything that happens within it. Monsters coming out and ripping children in half and eating up people and all this other shit. And then the fact, you know, and then, of course, you know, the radiation sickness and the madness and the everything else that's going on. Um, if you could stand by and take joy in that, you're not even human anymore anyway. So you don't, you don't, you don't even get that benefit of the doubt anymore. You don't get, um, due process. You don't get any of that. You forfeited any rights that Acadia decent, honest like people would get. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. It's all some of us have got. It certainly wasn't what I was expecting, but it means there's hope, right? That's a good attitude. Hope can get you through the worst of times. Believe me, I know. When I first escaped, I had no idea what to do with myself. I was so lost, so scared. But I heard rumors of Chase and what she was doing, that she was bringing people to a safe place place just for us and now here I am for all it's worth you're lucky to have found a place in the world yeah I guess and this just wasn't where I thought I'd end up any of it I've just got to keep telling myself I'm better off here than dead well if we all ended up where we thought we would the world would be a pretty boring place wouldn't it Hi. You're new here too, huh? I mean, I haven't been here that long myself. Honestly, I'd be dead right now if it weren't for Chase. Turns out it's pretty hard to live as a synth in the Commonwealth. Do you think you're better off now that you're here? Oh, absolutely. I don't have to pretend, I don't have to lie, and I don't worry that someone's gonna kill me in my sleep. Or worse. I'll see you around, okay? I can't wait to get out of here and travel. All right, so Dima and the rest of the uh, the synths here, they seem to think that ending ending things peacefully with the children of Adam is even an option. They're at open war, okay? The more you're crying peace, peace means the less you're shooting at them, which makes it easier for them to kill you. That's just simple. Simple math. Oh, but they wouldn't think like that. Well, I'll tell you what, if you get your ego out of the way and realize not everyone thinks like you do, you may ha not have evil motives. You may not be a sociopath, a psychopath, a fanatic, a jihadist, a whatever. Whatever these punk pieces of crap call themselves. You may not be that. That doesn't make them not that just because you can't see it. Right? We're all so full of self that we can't conceive the possibility that there are really are assholes in this world. That are really out to oppress every freedom you've got. And while they're doing it, they are so twisted that they will exploit and pervert 
your laws and morals and ethics and codes and stuff that you restrain yourself with and use that against you. In other words, if they have a right to trial and they know you won't open fire on them, then they are free to open fire on you until you restrain them. And if a few of them have to die along the way, they think they're going to get rewarded for that anyway. Okay, you, you, don't, you don't reason with that. You don't end things peacefully with that. There is an answer to that. You deal with it in kind. Once someone has forfeited their rights, you give them no more of those rights. Their right to live is gone. That's, that's it. They've, they've removed it from themselves. It's not your fault. You're not responsible. I hate to see anyone die. If you let them live, you're going to see a lot more people die. But people who don't deserve to die are the ones that are going to die. The ones that do deserve to die, just keep living. They go to jail for a while, get released, get traded off back to their own people so they can go back and do it again. That's what's happening. We This is a crazy world. Um, ignoring that is uh, not going to change it. Not going to stop it from being the way that it is, you know? Dude, how did this lead to that? Well, this this is actually um, very evident right here. Uh, the dynamics that are taking place here between... Okay, you have Acadia who's trying to play Sweden. But they're really not. They've already choos chosen a sign. They chose to do the right thing is help these people. The last few survivors on the island who have been chased out of their homes. Not the children of Adam homes. They're the trespassers here. All right, they're the one. They're the invaders here. Okay, but the people in the hull, the people of Far Harbor here... They were chased out of their homes. They lost their loved ones. Might I mention to the glee and joy of the children of Adam, jumping up and down and giggling and laughing like children as these settlers lose their family to monsters and the fog and radiation sickness and insanity and you name it. They enjoy that. Okay, well, that, that says everything right there. Um, that's not human. They, do they deserve human rights? Well, they would if they were human. They've, they've ceased to be that. I don't know what these children, Adam, I don't know what you'd label them now. It doesn't even matter. Bottom line is they're the enemy. They, they declared themselves as such. They've opened war. They've committed acts of war. Well, did they create the fog? I don't know. They got a nuclear submarine base there. If, if they haven't created it, they're fueling it. And if they're not even doing that, they're certainly condoning it, right? So I'm going to stand on that. Is When you actively support something, you may as well be doing what it does. When you align yourself with something, when you take upon yourself a cause... All the things that that cause, um, all the actions that are committed in the name of that cause, um, well, that's that's it. It's, you're part of that. Whether you're actively doing it or not is irrelevant. If you're not actively stopping it, then you may as well be supporting it. I've, I've got a, a good analogy for people to, to put this in light. This is what I've been seeing here lately. Um, in light of things in the real world here. Uh, that It's being brought to light here in the game. This isn't the first time Bethesda's done this. They also did this with the new squirrel tapes that you can find at the, uh, what is it, the Green Estates Trailer Park or whatever that place is called. They made a uh, really good political point there, if you look at it. Well, they're, they're doing it here again. But um, here's an analogy. Let's say you ran a church or a business, which <laughs> is not a whole lot of difference these days, is there? Let's say you ran a church or a business, and people working for your business, right? Running around in your, I don't know, in your work shirts, your uniforms, or whatever. Or, you know, running around claiming to be part of your church. Um, they were robbing, stealing from people, and they were killing people. You know, doing crazy, horrible things. Um, if you don't actively, by every means available to you within the laws of your land, do everything you can to dis to just smash and destroy that person acting in your name so as to separate your name from that, right? If you don't do that, you may as well be condoning it, right? Because when that person is resenting, re when he, they're representing you as a name, as an entity, as a company, as a, as a, as a person, place, or thing, right? Yes. When they're representing you and they do what they do in your name, well, then your name is attached to that. Unless you separate your name from that completely, 100%. Right, and put twice the effort as anyone else would to um, completely sever those actions from being associated with you, then guess what? They're going to be associated with you. That's just common sense. right? If you go to a restaurant and you get spoiled food, do you eat there again? Common sense. right? So when people are acting in the name of a religious ideology, some kind of belief, when they're trying to make up, although I don't even see any points being made, I just see... You know, the idea of terror is just to let everyone know that they could die at any given time because they don't 
follow a particular god who condones this type of behavior? Well, who the fuck would? Whatever god that is must be a, a pig pork eating asshole, as far as I'm concerned. When you're just doing this to women and children, you're proving no point. Fuck you. You know, bottom line. Oh, well, that's pretty harsh, man. I, I think I'm going to unsubscribe. Oh, well, for the truth? You know, th that's it. That's it. I any, any entity, any god, any deity, any whatever that would support that type of stuff has to be a real dick. <laughs> Period. And I'd be taught, you know, if I was part of a religion and I saw that, I would, if I had any sanity, I would say that of myself. So if these people are an exception to the rule, if these people are really not part of a particular religion, if they're just murdering and causing mayhem just because they're sociopaths and they enjoy doing so because they're part of a death cult, if that's really what they are, then you disassociate yourself and you don't just make an effort, you make double the effort to smash that, squash it, stop nice. it from happening. You be twice as outspoken against it. You be twice as active in putting an end to it because it's being done in your name. If you're not doing that, you're condoning it. And so this is a essentially a challenge, is that if that's not um, you, if that's just an extremist version of you that has nothing to do with what you're about, then why in the hell aren't you 50 billion times more actively, even violently, doing everything you can to squash that and disassociate that so that it doesn't sully your reputation, right? You don't want to be judged, you don't want to be labeled, yet I don't see you doing a whole lot to stop the actions of those doing shit in your name. And when I say your name, I'm talking about being affiliated with a particular religious belief or ideology that you belong to. When people are committing these atrocities, I'm talking about children being mowed down in the streets. Th there's, no, there's no candy coating that. All right? When that shit happens, if you aren't getting friggin' frothing at the mouth uh, outraged by that because it's being done in the name of a especially a religious ideology which you may claim to believe, if you're not acting out against that, if you're not not only disassociating that, but assisting the authorities in every single way possible to squash that, smash it, destroy it, um, label it for what it is, um, then you know what? You may as well be doing it yourself. And that's my challenge. That's my Because I'm sick of it. I'm personally sick of it. I'm sick of seeing innocent people dying uh, for no freaking reason at random locations at random times. I mean, what the hell? I mean, how much of that has to happen before we stop making excuses for the people doing it? You know, well, what if one innocent person gets labeled in the midst of all that? Disassociate yourself from it completely, and you won't be. As long as you just try to play Sweden and say, well, these guys are doing it in the name of the same religion I believe in, but I don't really do that either, so you shouldn't label me either. Why the fuck wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? Well, because that makes you a racist. Who says? What, am I, am I supposed to be offended by that? What happens when I'm offended? Are you going to care? Is it going to change your world? Is it going to alter the lives of you or your family if I'm offended? No. Okay, so, so in other words, why, why wouldn't anybody stop eating in a restaurant with poisoned food? Why wouldn't anybody stop going to a church where just one person in the name of that church was out there blowing people the fuck up? Why wouldn't you stop doing that? And if you belong to that, why wouldn't you actively, actively smash that as quick as possible so that your name isn't sullied, so that your reputation, so that your goodwill, so that everything you, you, you stand for or that you claim to stand for, which is, doesn't seem to be really clear these days. But if you, if you claim to stand for all that's good and the good of the whole world, but the shit is being done in your name, why aren't you uh, vehemently doing everything within your power to uh, stop that? So I see the same thing here with the children of Adam is if they aren't 100% completely the bad guys here, then what the, then they would be helping to stop the radiation. No, they worship it. They worship this abomination, this result of mankind's best effort to destroy itself. They're worshiping that in and of itself as a god. This is stupid. This is like cutting down a tree, carving out a piece of wood, and claiming that this piece of wood has some divine power and then worshiping it. You just made it with your own hands with a carving knife out of some stick you found in the woods. And you're going to sit there and worship it. Ha Seriously? Okay, well, it's the, same, it's the same, same kind of insanity here. Is the children of Adam would worship this product of the nuclear war. Fallout. Nuclear fallout. They're going to worship that is, as an entity in and of itself. It has some um, altering force that's going to cleanse the world and make it like Adam until we all are finally blown up completely. Uh, that's your thing? 
okay, well, I'm just going to live. Thank you very much. And as long as you're down with that, and I'm going to kill you so that I can continue living. Because I don't know when the hell you're going to set off the next nuke, start the next batch of fog that's going to kill all my family and children and stuff. I mean, seriously. That's just insanity. So, yeah, I, I do see um, a statement being made here. It's well, it's pretty well camouflaged. Actually, not, not so well camouflaged, really. I think they're open enough about it if you're willing to look at it. I think the uh, unwillingness to look at things nowadays is um, feeding the problem more than anything else. Well, if we just pretend that everything's roses. If we just call someone peaceful, then they'll be peaceful. <laughs> uh, sorry, it doesn't work like that. In fact, um, when the assholes are being called peaceful, it just leaves you unarmed so that the assholes can, can kill you faster and easier without consequences. Anyway, all right, uh, uh, enough rant. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if there's enough ranting about it, though, now. Like I say, in light of current events happening in the real world today, following the same oh. principles and ideology which I see taking place right here, um, these children of Adam to think that they have any rights here to be doing what they're doing, committing open acts of war against people in their own home to take over this and finding a religious excuse to do so. That's the bottom line. And for those of my friends here that uh, would say, dude, you're not going to get many subscribers talking like that. You know what? The ones we, the ones that are here that are willing to at least talk and listen for real, you know, I mean, we play, we play, we play games and we, and we escape uh, the world in a lot of ways with our games. And we do that here, right? But we also see parallels with the real world and the ability to grasp profound dynamics that are taking place in our in our communities right the real stuff that's going on and see it in in uh kind of uh what, what would you call this a fantasy setting fantasy environment real world issues but that you can look at and you can and you can talk about and you can even deal with um the right way when you see the world not doing so you're able to right wrongs in a game wrongs that aren't righted in the real world in fact, um, laws that are set in place promote wrongdoing and uh, keep justice from actually being served. Um, condoning the actions of evil men, uh, allowing them to do what they do and continue to doing what they do all in the name of <laughs> humanity while they do inhumane things and are allowed to continue to do inhumane things because we don't do the humane thing and get rid of them. Uh, there are certain people in this world who, well being a disease, um, certainly make things harder on the people who don't deserve to have things made harder on them. The average common, you know, Joe Blow, like you and I, you know, the people that just want to get by and that just want to do our things. And it, it, it almost makes sense. It, it's, it's understandable in a, in a way how someone would rather just pretend that everything's all okie, okie dokie. And you know, the world's just rainbows and kittens farting pixie dust as we climb the bridge to La La Land. Um, it's kind of understandable rather than face the ugly reality of, of a thing that's out of control. The problem with it is on the flip side of that same coin, it being out of control is our responsibility. We're kind of the reason by, by not acting as in the one and only way that you can to rid the world of oppressive <clears throat> things, right? So that one may free oneself. Freedom is earned and all the things that come with it. We are a spoiled well, I'm here in the States, and we are definitely a spoiled country on the backs of uh, our law enforcement and on the backs of our military. Um, we've lived in a city without walls for far too long and don't realize the sacrifices that are made on a daily basis and that have been made in the past um, to uh, procure that those freedoms and liberties. The same reason everyone comes to this country. You don't see a lot of people fleeing America. You see them coming here to try to change it to where they came from so that they complain so they can complain about it being the way it is makes no fucking sense but laws have been put in place social justices that do, that accomplish nothing but injustice for everyone who deserves justice um oh no I don't even get into that but 
Um, we, we become, well, we have short memories. Longfellow said it himself. When he got us to uh, Acadia, or on the way to Acadia, he was basically like, you know, this is nothing new on the island. This has happened before, but people have short memories. They come in, settle, get a few minutes of peace, and they forgot how hard it was um, earning their homes back. And so we're kind of repeating history, apparently. We're in here helping them out. Um, I think this time, though, with the children of Adam in the equation, that if they don't get some help, they are going to be eradicated from the island, and this will be some big, abominable Stephen King mist type thing where monsters take over the whole island, and, you know, the children of Adam won't stop there. This isn't enough. It's the whole world. That's their thing. It's a fanatical death cult. We've got one present in our world today. Well, you see one here in the game. And they're not going to stop. They're not going to be reasonable. Well, I would be reasonable. You're not them. How hard is that? Duh. I mean... Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Anyway, well, while we talk about the rights of criminals to not be killed for their actions which deserve death, we sit here in video games and kill people all day long that deserve to die. <laughs> Isn't that hypocritical? And so that's what we're doing here. We're going to uh, pay just due rewards to the uh, murderer of Cassie's husband and she can finally get her last little bit of vengeance on the island for taking essentially her whole family away. Uh, she's not the only one, but uh, she's going to do something about it. Being an, being an older girl, maybe she can't get out here and, you know, run and gun like the rest of us, but uh, she found someone that would do it. Can't knock her for that. You know what? The only, the only ones having a problem with what I'm doing to the bad guys here are A, the bad guys, and B, people who condone these bad guys' actions and think that they still have some kind of rights to not have this done to them. Well, guess what? I'm going to do it anyway. And if that's offensive, good. Don't get over it. And if you're offended, guess what? That doesn't change my life whatsoever. You're offended. Please stay that way so I can laugh. I'm kind of full of piss and vinegar today. I'm um, seeing uh, innocent children. They're Par Parisian uh People of Paris, I mean, damn. Well, they've been slapped in the face a few times here lately, and uh, uh, they've invited that in. And, um, well, you invite it in, and then it happens, and then you're not allowed to say anything about it because you're labeled as um, some kind of racist or something if you say anything about the cause for what's being done in your country over and over and over. But uh, I feel sad, most people. Seeing children mowed down in the streets by a piece of crap who... <clears throat> should have been dead already um is uh wow there's really kind of no words oh news flash while I look for the last of these trappers here for those of you who are uh, still with me I am um, I was gonna do a build video from this character. And this is another alteration. Liking it, liking the whole gun foo thing. Uh, don't use it a whole lot, but uh, I could see playing through and, and getting accustomed to using it, you know, more, especially against crowds of enemies when you've got four or more enemies. Comes in handy for that. Also, just having a high agility period. It's nice to have a lot of the action points and stuff. Probably won't run with the deliver again. Um, it's got great damage, obviously. I mean, it's an OP weapon. Um kind of running with it here uh, just just for that but i like the 10 millimeter i like 10 millimeter because um you essentially you, you need to really boost the number of action points you have to work with uh to get the max number of shots that you can out of your pistol like my 10 millimeter i think what 13 14 shots is is all i've really been able to muster i'd like to maybe even get a little higher than that also looking at some different gear that i would like um i was thinking of First of all, the strength and endurance one, I learned something about that. The strength and endurance gear doesn't give you any extra hit points. It gives you a point of endurance, which may give you some resistance. Maybe the rads or, or something. I don't know. Um, it does uh, reduce the amount of stamina that it costs to sprint, I think. 
I, I think that's the case. Something. But anyway, it's you know, it's obviously good for hit points. Well, it doesn't give you any. So if you had five extra points, say you had uh oh, I, I forget what the um, what the name of the gear is called. It's legendary gear. Anyway, it gives you a point of strength and endurance. Well, if you had say you know one of those on all your pieces of armor, if you had like five upgrades like that. You'd think, well, that should be about 100 hit points, you know, for five points of endurance. I believe that's how it comes out. 20 hit points per point. Now, when you level, well, um, you wouldn't have that. You would have the extra carry weight, which is never a bad thing. I mean, I like carrying more junk, sure. But um, it doesn't give you the, the HP for, for whatever reason. So I was thinking uh, you know, the agility and perception upgrades are good. Agility should give you extra action points, but I'm not sure that it's doing that either. And I need to go look at the ultralight um, upgrades to the armor because I'm not sure what AP bonus they're giving you. Is it AP as far as amount of AP you've got? Or is it AP bonus is, is in relation to how quickly it uh, regenerates? You know, stuff like that. So, um, some things aren't really playing out like they're supposed to. And and the key thing with this character here is it glitched. Or it appears to have glitched. Um, notice my critical damage, or my sneak damage, is stuck at 4.4. It should be able to go all the way up to roughly around 6 or so. Now, one of, uh, one of you guys, one of the viewers, made a note that uh, they patched that. And that there's some kind of cap on sneak damage, which is fine. Um, I can see that. But if they did that, uh, how much is it affecting this, or is this an actual bug? Because apparently there's a bug where if you take Deacon's Cloak and Dagger perk last, which is what I did, I believe that's what I did, then what it does is it actually, instead of adding a bonus, it removes a rank of Mr. Sandman from you. And so instead of my sneak damage being at uh, 4.8, 5.9, 6.3 or something, it's stuck at 4.4, .4, and that's with the Cloak and Dagger perk from Deacon, so um, I'm assuming it's either glitched or patched, not sure. But there's some different gear that I would like to run across. Um, I would really like to see a couple pieces of the uh, the one where the lower your health, the higher your damage resistance goes. Up to, I don't know, it's extra like up to 35 points, or down to 35% health or something with a maximum of maybe 70 points of resistance, something like that. I don't know. But anyway, a couple pieces of that, and the lower your health goes, the more damage you're taking. So if something can two or three shots you, it's very likely on that second or third shot, your damage resistance could be twice what it was on that first shot, and you may actually get to walk away. At least get around the corner so you can heal real quick or, or run away type thing. So um, I would like a, a, a couple pieces of that. I do have one good one where if you get down below a certain health point, it adds plus three to all your stats. That sounds great, but I haven't actually um, put that into practice or done any testing on that to see if that affects your, you know, uh, endurance, especially your hit points. I mean, if you're down to low health, obviously you're taking fire um, and you're trying to get around the corner so you can heal. Well, then you need a little buff real quick. If it's supposed to raise your all your stats by three, that's basically like an instant buff out with none of the negative effects. So, I need to actually test to see if that's working either. And Bethesda is kind of notorious for that, having some stuff that's maybe buggy, maybe doesn't work like it's supposed to. Sometimes the bonuses it's supposed to add, it removes. I, I, a lot of games have that. Sometimes I wonder a lot of times when I'm picking really sexy sounding perks, if they're not doing the opposite of what they're supposed to, but it's hidden off in the background and there's really no way without doing some extensive testing to see if your game's being glitchy or not. Anyway. Found uh, a note up there with that main bad guy, and it said that there was a chest down here, so... Thought we'd come down and look, and sure enough, some free loot. Good deal. Alright, I'm not gonna suffer you guys with me running on foot all the way back to the hole. That's basically across the island. I'll try to do as little... Um location discovery as possible on the way back. But, uh, yeah, anyway, make the long trek back. No fast travel and new survival mode, so... Have to do it all on foot. We'll talk to Cassie, report in, and then we'll go talk to Brooks after on the next one. That trapper who killed your husband is dead. And it's done. It's finally done. All those lives that were lost. All those debts finally repaid. And it was no son or daughter of Far Harbor who stood up to the island and avenged the Dalton bloodline. 
It was you. An outsider. A mainlander. The final chapter's been written. The story has come to an end. This is a day I never thought I'd live to see. Thank you. I was glad to help. I hope I've put your mind at ease. You certainly have. Now every good story's gotta have a happy ending, right? The hero finds the treasure, saves the sweetheart, and rides off into the sunset. Well, I'm a little old to leap up on a horse. But I have got something close to a treasure. This is an heirloom that's been in my family for... Ah, oh, let me think. Oh, for at least a generation or two. There's no Daltons left to inherit the thing. So it might as well pass on to you. The island knows this weapon. Oh, yes. You carry this, and it'll take you seriously. And that's it. That's the end. I can sleep easy now, knowing there won't be any unfinished business when they put me in the ground. Off you go now. My story's over, but yours... I think yours is only just getting interesting. Blood letter. Legendary fishing hook. Yes. Mrs. Dalton. Right, so we're supposed just to. Just uh, so you know, mainlanders don't last long here. I can't tell. I'm doing all right. Got to talk to Brooks here and see if we can track down a synth for a chase. Back at Acadia. We'll take care of that on the next one. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go sleep. Go uh, get some rest. All right, if you want to subscribe, click that button up top. That'd be awesome. If you want to catch the rest of the Fallout 4 playthrough, you can click that image in the middle. Send you straight to the playlist. Y'all take care. Appreciate you hanging out. Bye-bye.